Hey, you. You. Yeah, you. Can I ask you a question? When is the last time that you advocated for yourself? When is the last time that you spoke for you? One of the things that I notice when it comes to a lot of young people in the healthcare profession, when it comes to, honestly, a lot of young people in general, I actually scratched that. Most people, now that I think about it, most people will look out for others more than they will for themselves. But you have to understand, if you don't advocate for you, then who will? You stand up for other people, you stand up for your family, you stand up for your friends, you stand up for your kids, your parents. But when have you stood up for you? When have you said enough is enough? When have you said, you know what, I'm not going to take the gaslighting from this person in this relationship. I'm not going to allow myself to be talked down upon by my boss or certain people. When is enough enough? When will you stop speaking negatively to yourself? When will you start to speak life? Have a positive mindset. Speak positive things to yourself. Speak in a positive manner. When will you realize that you need to be an advocate for you? One of the toughest things that you'll probably ever have to go through in life is coming to the realization that you are the person that has to protect you. It can't be your parents. It can't be your spouse. It can't be your children. That is not their responsibility. It's yours. And a lot of times we fill ourselves with busy work. We take extra shifts at a job. We pick up a new skill or a new hobby. You just got a doctorate's degree in this and now you're going to go get a master's in something else. And you're trying to validate it by saying, oh, well, I'm going to make more money or, oh, well, you know, I really love learning and I love school. No. You're running from the real work. You're running from the deep work that you should be doing. It's a scapegoat. And I want you to be truly happy and truly fulfilled with your life. I want you to do meaningful things, have purposeful work. And one of the ways that you can do that is by advocating for yourself. Speak up for yourself whenever you're getting burnt out. Say, hey, you know what? I can't pick up these extra shifts. Or, hey, you know what? I can't take this project right now. I've spread myself too thin. My bandwidth is full. I need to protect me. I need to speak up for me. Because I love me. Because I want me to live a happy life. I want me to live a healthy life. And the only way I can do that is by protecting me from myself. So I really want you to stop and think about this for a moment. And really think, when was the last time you actually spoke up for yourself? I bet you won't remember. But if I asked you the last time you stuck up for somebody else, you spoke up on behalf of someone else, I bet you can remember that. If you're a parent, I'm sure you remember the last time you had to stick up for your kid. If you're married or in a relationship, I'm sure you had a moment where you had to speak up on behalf of your partner. But seriously, when was the last time you spoke up for you? Whether it's to your boss, your parents, your friends, your siblings, even your children, whoever it may be. I want you to not only be an advocate for others, but also be an advocate for you. You are 100% responsible for the life that you live. You are 100% responsible for the life that you live. You are 100% responsible for all the outcomes. If you're burnt out from your profession, did you advocate for yourself? Did you request PTO? Did you do the things necessary for you to not be stressed out and burnt out? I didn't think so. I didn't think you did. Because you didn't advocate for yourself. Maybe you picked up this shift for someone else or you, 
you picked up the shift because this person had something going on and you felt bad even though you know you really didn't want to but you're just being a nice person no 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 it's not about being nice you need to be an advocate for you first do you have the bandwidth right now to take on more projects do you have the bandwidth right now to take on more work or are you at a point in your life where you need rest are you at a point in your life where you need grace where you need to be kinder to yourself where you need to rejuvenate yourself there is a reason why god rested on the seventh day because if all you do is work you will reach a point of burnout and exhaustion. God advocated for himself. God advocated for God. God said, I will rest today. You have to be an advocate for yourself. There's so, there's so many different things and people that will try to steal your attention, that will take attention away from you, that will take time away from you, that will take money and resources away from you to the point where you are pouring out your cup every single day. If you don't do something every day to refill your cup, then you're always going to start every single morning and every single day pouring out of an empty cup. And that is a recipe for disaster. So I challenge you, if you listen to this episode, I challenge you to literally think, take some time and think about when was the last time you advocated for yourself? Was it a week ago? Was it a month ago? Because if it's not every day, then there is a problem right there. Every day you need to advocate for yourself. Sometimes you need to tell some of your friends, hey, I don't have time to get back to you. Not today. I don't have the energy today. Sometimes you have to let your family know, I can't handle this drama right now. Maybe another day. I have some other things I need to attend to. Whatever is going on, no matter what is going on, you have to always keep in your mind that you are responsible for you. You have to advocate for yourself. The same way you do for your patients in healthcare, you need to speak that same way about you. You need to speak up for yourself, just like you do for your patients, just like you do for your clients. All the things that make you amazing at work, I want you to do that at home for yourself. Don't change the recipe. Keep the same one. So I challenge you all that are listening to this episode, please leave a comment and tell me when was the last time you advocated for yourself. And I'll be transparent and I'll put that down in the comments below. I'll put my own down in the comments below. But I want you to know, nobody will advocate for you as strong as you, as much as you. Care and protect your interests as much as you would. So always, please, always take care of you. So that's it for today's Mindset Wednesday episode. Thank you guys so much for listening. If you enjoyed this content, I highly recommend you subscribe. All right, click that subscribe button, click that bell, and go ahead and subscribe and tune in every single Wednesday. We're giving you different content to help stimulate the right thoughts. So my job as a mentor is to plant seeds. And these seeds might be questions or different statements that start having your brain start to think about things a little bit. Start wondering, when did I advocate for myself? Start wondering, how come I don't give myself grace whenever I'm speaking about myself? How come I don't use affirmations and visualizations? Start planting the seeds for you to get on the path to your version of success, to your version of wealth, to your version of health. That's my job as your mentor. It's to stimulate the right process, the right mindset, the right thoughts for you to prosper. And so that's how this whole series of Mindset Wednesday really came out. 
It's me being able to mentor you on a large scale. So if you're enjoying this content, like I said, please go ahead and subscribe, like, comment, share with a friend or family member that you believe could really, really use this insight. That could really benefit from what I'm talking about. And if you have any questions or you just want to dive deeper, you just want somebody to talk to, want somebody to be there for you, please just shoot me a message. It's not that hard. I don't know you. I don't know you. So this can't even come back to you. But sometimes we got to get things off our chest. Sometimes you need a friend. Sometimes you need somebody to lean on. So if I could be that resource for you, if I could be that person for you, please feel free to reach out. Thank you guys so much for listening. I appreciate it. If you haven't yet, please follow us on Instagram, LinkedIn, and TikTok at new underscore CapsLarks podcast. You all are amazing. And I hope you advocate for you today, tomorrow, and every day going forward. Because remember, if you don't protect you, who will? You are 100% responsible for the life that you live. So start acting like it.